His father was a, um, a functionary in the French colonial system um, when it was still a French colony. So he got to go to what you might say was a relatively better school compared to the other schools in the, in the, in the colony. And he went, he attended school with the children of the colonial officials. So with the Europeans. And he objected to the preferential treatment that they got. And he got into arguments with some of the kids. And in fact, uh, there's a story where he got in a fight with uh, one of the European uh, students. And the school demanded that his father punish him in front of the entire school to humiliate him. And his father refused. And that's when he saw that, yes, it is worth fighting against injustice. And then he joined. And then initially, there was some idea that he might go into the seminary. But he opted to go into the military instead as a young cadet. And then there was a professor uh, in the colonial system, an, an, an African professor who was schooled in Marxist theory. And he used to come to the, uh, the military academies and teach you know, history, geography, uh, you know, world history, and some economics. That's what he taught in public. But then he would identify and spot out students that he knew you know, were really sharp. And he would invite them to his home into a private tutoring session. So this small group would meet clandestinely in his home. And that's where he gave them instructions in, uh, in Marxist economics, in socialism, and in uh, how other parts of the world were challenging the system, you know, the history of the Chinese revolution, the Russian revolution. And that's where he really started gaining that uh, uh, different type of consciousness. And when he went to Madagascar, uh, one of a few select students from his country sent there for specialized training. Now, Madagascar also had a very progressive young officers in the military and they seized power in Madagascar. And they wanted to introduce a socialist system, very progressive against the reactionary neo-colonial regime. And that's where he studied there. And while he was there, he also studied uh, agriculture, because obviously most African countries are agricultural based. And he wanted to st study so that when he went back to his country, he could implement some of the agricultural ideas, but also the radical politics that he imbibed in Madagascar.